I'm gonna run through the three most popular ways to raise capital as an early stage startup. First and foremost, and we see this a lot, it's called a SAFE. And SAFE stands for Simple Agreement for Future Equity. SAFEs were popularized by Y Combinator and SAFEs are a really easy instrument. It allows you to make a promise to investors that when you raised a priced round, and we'll get to priced rounds in a minute, but when you get to doing a priced round, you are setting a cap on the valuation. And this is a really easy way to get investment in your startup. It's really typical for startup founders to set a cap and occasionally set a discount. They're saying something really simple. They're promising the investor will get a certain amount of equity and the company's valuation when they get that equity will be no higher than the cap. The second part is the discount and this is just a reduction in the price of the shares. Now, it used to be common for you to have both a cap and a discount, but now the common practice is to either have a cap or have a discount in your safe agreement. The safe agreement is a really common mechanism for early stage founders to raise capital. Now, before the safe was around, investors would use a very similar structure called a convertible note. And the idea behind a convertible note is that the note converts into equity. And so similar idea to a safe, the difference with a convertible note from a safe is that a convertible note is actually debt. And in fact, not only are they debt, but they can actually accrue interest. Convertible notes are a little more complicated, a little more nuanced, and so they fell a little bit out of favor with founders in lieu of safes because safes have a little more simplicity to them. Some investors still prefer convertible notes, but largely they're very similar types of structure where you're promising future equity in exchange for upfront capital. They both have caps or discounts and sometimes both caps and discounts. There are some instances where founders will choose to raise without a cap and you can learn more about that online. But the basic structure for early stage startup investing is either raising on a safe or raising on a convertible note. And this is a really great structure for startups that are raising usually under a million dollars, a couple hundred thousand dollars, half a million dollars, up to a million dollars. As soon as startups start raising more capital, let's say you need to raise a million dollars, two million dollars, three million dollars, four million dollars or more, it starts to be in the best interests of both the startup founder and the investor to raise on a priced round. The idea of a priced round is that you're pricing your equity. You're putting a price on your startup's valuation and you are prescribing a specified amount of equity for that transaction. And so there's no surprises. One of the downsides of safes and convertible notes is you are delaying the valuation discussion. You're saying, look, we know my startup isn't worth whatever we're ascribing to the cap of the note. We know my startup's not worth $5 million. We know my startup's not worth $10 million. But let's just set that as a ceiling so we can move quickly. But that means that the founder actually doesn't know how much her dilution has been or how much his dilution has been in that particular round. And that's one of the challenges with safes and convertible notes. Sometimes founders will stack safes and convertible notes one after the other, and that can really be confusing in terms of calculating how much actual dilution you have had. Now, when it comes to raising a priced round, when you raise that priced round, all your prior notes, all your prior safes convert and that conversion is the calculation of exactly how many shares each investor will ultimately get, whether their discounts are applied or whether caps are applied. And so if you're raising more money, if you're raising a million dollars, two million dollars, if you're raising a larger amount and the investor can kind of go either way, they can either do a safe, a convertible note or a price round, you may want to nudge them to doing a price round because then you'll actually do the calculation and you'll know exactly how much dilution your startup has had. Now, I've invested in a lot of startups. I've done safes, I've done convertible notes, I've done priced rounds. From an investor perspective, it doesn't make a huge amount of difference, but I wanna protect myself as an investor from getting unexpected dilution or unexpected terms or from having investors that come after me 
get better deals. And so as a founder, you should really be thinking, what is the dynamic? How much capital do I really need right now? And what are reasonable terms? The most expensive equity you're gonna sell is early stage equity. When you're just starting the business, just starting to get capital, just starting to get traction. So you really wanna think through not just your current round, but your subsequent round as well. And so I often advise founders to think one or two steps ahead in terms of their fundraising. So if you're raising your pre-seed, you should be thinking, what am I gonna do for my seed? What am I gonna do for my series A? If you're raising your seed, you should be thinking one round ahead. And one challenge sometimes founders get into is that they will raise too much on a convertible note or they'll raise too much on a safe. And that actually makes the process of raising that next round much harder. See, if you're an investor and you are investing in a priced round, you want to make sure that that money is converting to value for the company. It's not just converting prior shareholders or prior debt, right? Those convertible notes, those safes, they're promises of equity. And so when you are writing a $2 million check into a company, you expect that you are getting a bunch of equity for that investment. If your investment is going to convert a bunch of other stakeholders, a bunch of other debt, you're not gonna feel great about that. So make sure you don't over-raise or over-leverage those safes and convertible notes because it can cause problems for you later on. I talk more about valuations and how valuations are made up in this video over here. So check that out if you wanna learn more about valuations. I also have another video over here. You can check it on this shoulder that talks about angel investing and how to find angel investors. Thanks so much.